the clear signal of low-dose risk in the atomic bomb survivor cohort that we've observed here undergirds radiation protection standards and risk modeling worldwide. Nevertheless, some experts disagree with the consensus and argue that the atomic bomb survivor cohort provides no evidence that doses below 100 millisieverts are harmful because the data in that range are not statistically significant. For example, since the Fukushima disaster, Professors Yamashita and Allison have invoked this argument in their advocacy of allowing greater public exposure to radiation. You need a large population of people who have been highly irradiated and another lot of people who haven't been irradiated to compare them with. And the most important uh, set of data of this kind are from the survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki where those who receive doses of less than 100 millisieverts, the extra risk is consistent with zero, even in this extraordinarily large uh, set of data. So it is perfectly respectable and sensible to consider that below 100 millisieverts, that's a single acute dose, there is no radiation risk. Let's examine the data they cite to support their argument. Here are the previously published solid cancer deaths in the atomic bomb survivor cohort, which Professor Allison used in his talk. The data table stratifies cancer deaths into dose ranges. The two strata below 100 millisieverts are highlighted in green. And here are those data plotted. The allegedly safe dose range below 100 millisieverts is highlighted in green. Now, statistical significance is an arbitrarily chosen p-value which under various circumstances may range from 0 0.1 to 0 0.01. For epidemiological research like this, 0 0.05 is usually chosen. So in that case, this value for the doses from 5 to 100 millisieverts is not statistically significant, as Yamashita and Allison observe. However, there are good reasons, too numerous to cover here, why this hasn't swayed the scientific consensus on radiation risk. For example, let's consider what this p-value means. Two hypotheses are under consideration. The null hypothesis, or H0, proposes that the risk value, or ERR, is equal to or below zero. In other words, hypothesis H0 proposes that doses from 5 to 100 millisieverts are harmless. So the p-value means that the probability that hypothesis H0 is true is 10%. Therefore, the p-value also means that the alternative hypothesis, H1, which proposes that risk is greater than zero, has a 90% probability of being true. In other words, the probability that doses from 5 to 100 millisieverts are harmful is 90%. If the chance of rain was 90%, would you take an umbrella? If you had a 10-round revolver with nine bullets loaded, would you take aim at an innocent and pull the trigger? Just as the rational person takes her umbrella, ethical radiation policy experts don't play Russian roulette with public safety. Two of the atomic bomb survivor scientists with the Radiation Effects Research Foundation expressed the consensus view in addressing the question of doses below 100 millisieverts, saying, quote, In the presence of available data, it is neither sound statistical interpretation nor prudent risk evaluation to take the view that the risk should be considered as zero in some low-dose range due to lack of statistical significance when restricting attention to that range. 